Here we go, photo shoot. The man Howie, we got this new hoodie. You like that? About to be dropping this in the next day or two. It's nice out here. If you've never been to Lake Erie, you're missing out. Come hang out. Falls into the water. Just pulled up, Thunderdog Barbecue. We got some new sauces we're gonna go try. Cowboy Mike, Ashley, maybe a couple other people. Let's see what we got. Just left underdog, uh, it was a good one. Uh, we did some taste testing, some new sauces. I think we had about a dozen or so. Uh, I think we narrowed it down to about four. Uh, I don't wanna give too much information away, but we got a new hot one. We got, uh, it's a peach flavored, very spicy. Too spicy for me, I, I couldn't eat it. Uh, we got a grilling sauce that we're gonna have. And I'm real excited for the honey mustard barbecue. It's really good. So if all goes according to plan, we should have those out in the next couple months maybe possibly by rib fest then i got a little behind the scenes look at the new menu ashley and cowboy mike we're working on today actually it looks good there's a lot of new items they're putting i think on full time on the menu they call it the sassy ash i think it's one of their best plates that they have there and now it's time to swing by iron empire I mean, that's it underdog iron empire underdog iron empire eat Go to the gym and then underdog and iron empire see what's going on it should be a quiet day we'll see what he's up to let's go so it's almost nine o'clock i was over next door at the gym finished up about 45 minutes ago so i came over to work on a couple things I always get a little bit more done either late at night or first thing in the morning because I'm the only one here. No one's here to you know bother me or interrupt me from doing what I gotta do. And I was over at the gym and I was talking to a handful of college kids who are all you know, 20, 21 years old. And you know, they're just stressed out about, I don't know if this is what I wanna do and what they're going to college for, so on and so forth. The one kid wanted to be like a financial advisor. Wasn't going to school for being a financial advisor. I, 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 I didn't understand it. It reminded me, you know, kind of where I came from and kind of the inspiring part of my story, if you want to call it that. And, and I told him and I said, listen, you know, I didn't go to college. I barely made it through high school. I started working right away as soon as I got out of high school. And then I got lucky and just worked full time for the city. I was full time for the city for seven years, but I was part time for a couple years before that. A year before I started Iron Empire, I thought my life was mapped out. I thought I would be working for the city of Erie till I was 55 years old and retire, have my pension, benefits, 401k, whatever the hell you want to call it all. And I thought that was my life. I thought my life was mapped out and I had my life all figured out. I didn't start this business till I was 26 years old and it was on accident. That's why like the whole entrepreneur thing, I say, you know what, like I don't really consider or I didn't consider myself an entrepreneur because I didn't know that's what I was doing. Both of us were working full time and I said, you know what? Like, I kind of want to start a hobby. No college degree, no college background at all, no business experience or knowledge, nothing. Took $300 cash right out of my own paycheck and printed as many shirts as I could with this logo and this name that we came up with. I did what I thought was best for my hobby. Again, I'm not gonna call it a business. And I, you know, took $300, printed X amount of shirts, sold every single one of them, and took that $700, put that back into the business, bought more shirts, made fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars put that back and I kept bootstrapping over and over and I kept flipping the profits that we were making off these shirts until I realized that we were onto something. So when we kind of officially got like our EIN and opened up the real business bank account, you know, I was 26 years old, no business background, nothing, and fell into this business on accident. And here we are, what, five years later, this is my one and only, but my third location now. I grew out of the first one with the first year, 
second one out of two years boom here we are now you know i i part own you know part of the underdog barbecue franchise or or business you know i have a self-made billionaire partner for this business that i started right out of my house if you would have asked me a year ago i've been open about this on social media before where you know i said you know last year beginning of the year i was in a very dark mental place and i was i was depressed i want to give up the business i want to quit met this guy glenn bryant and boom kind of gave me gave me that oomph back that i needed and here i am a year later and we're we're fucking thriving so it's like you don't need loans you don't need lines of credit you know you don't need to have a ton of knowledge about business literally hustle hustle hard work determination knowing what the hell you want to do just do it like i don't care if you're in college i don't care if you're 30 years old i'm 31 now and basically i got a brand new fresh startup two companies you know the iron empire that i'm running now is completely different from what i had before this in a sense so i'm 31 years old and i'm kind of starting fresh but with two businesses and it's a learning experience so i'm still learning about business who knows five years from now i might not even be doing clothing anymore i have no idea so i think that like you know if you're watching this and you know you feel like you're stuck in life you don't think your life is going anywhere you don't know what you want like it's never too late you know there's one of those little meme things out there that talks about some of the most successful people in the world and i'm not going to say success off of off of being rich or famous or anything like that they started very late in life to get to where they are now it's never too late to figure out what you want to do and get on the right track yeah it was kind of a humbling experience because sometimes i forget where i came from sometimes uh, I'm very humble. I always remind people like, you know, I started with nothing, stopped for nothing. That's kind of one of our, one of our slogans we use here. You know, for this experience, you know, I'm just talking to these kids and, you know, I could be having a rough day and then it reminds me like, holy shit, like these kids are only 21, 22 years old and they're, they're stressed about life and going to college and their life hasn't even started yet. Yeah, it was kind of a, a moment to remember, you know, who I am. It's kind of a nice reminder. That's it. I'm tired. Like I said, it's almost what, nine o'clock now. I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content that was in this one. Can't wait for the next one to come out. But don't forget to subscribe, share the video, comment. If you have any questions, throw them up there. I'm trying to stay on top of everyone's questions or, or comments on the, the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. So thank you. See you next time.